Hi guys, GamerBug here again, and we're about to start up chapter 2.1 of Resident Evil 4 on a professional run. So, let's get straight into the action. As always, let's skip the cutscenes and start picking things up. I say that, I'm actually overloaded with items at the moment. I don't know how much I can actually pick up. Not much. So, I'm actually going to leave a lot of things and come back for it in a moment. A little bit long-winded, but... be worth it in the long run. What I'm actually going to go and do... is sell the shotgun I've got. There's a merchant over here in this cave. A lot of items to pick up, and selling that shotgun, which I should have done a while ago, is going to give me a lot of spare room. Get rid of the shotgun first. Got some rare things on sale. What are you selling? Is that all, stranger? <laughs> uh, any gems worth selling? Not for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look, there are quite a few items worth picking up around here. There's actually an item up there in that uh, lantern torch. Hmm. Should we get the exact word for that? Would be. We'll call it a torch. Shift these out of the way. Navigate one of Resident Evil's devious puzzles that aren't really that devious. Oh, nothing there. So yeah, if we knife at that, and this happens quite a few points in the game, there's a uh, treasure that drops down. Green gem that I just picked up is uh, part of the elegant mask I found earlier. For some reason the guy doesn't mind you stealing ammunition from his um, his shop, which is awfully kind of him. Shame you can't actually steal half of the things that appear to be behind him. I mean, I've got a lot of money, so maybe I can have, oh, one of those, or those, or maybe even that rifle up there. But no, he doesn't actually sell those. He just has them in case World War Three breaks out. I'm not sure exactly sure why. Well, I'm going to combine the key treasure up. So we have one of those. We will finish that mask before we finish. This is automatic. You don't have to actually drive out of here. Yeah, we'll finish the mask before we finish the beer stein. Weirdly. Right. Now, before I go back over there... I'm going to head this way, back to the original shore where I got on this boat in the last chapter. Wherever that might be. Uh, oh, it's over here. Now, I don't want to go too far up here, but if you stick close enough to the edge, or just to the first house up the way, you can get a couple of extra items. Um, I think, I could be wrong on this, the crate don't actually regenerate items. You can't go any further up than this house here. If you don't want to be attacked by wolves. Uh, but I'm fairly sure this won't have anything in it. Yet. So don't really bother. Now there were herbs that I was debating over, and probably annoying people over earlier on, uh, in the last chapter, that were just up that hill a bit further. Now, I could have gone and got them now, but I've had to have killed some wolves, which I don't really want to waste time doing. Or ammunition, for that matter. There's also a heck of a lot of free healing items in the uh, river there. Oh, kind of got myself stuck here. Uh, which are the fish? Again, you could shoot them, you can't really knife them, or you can actually use the harpoon on the boat. You can still use that. Um, 
I'm not going to bother again. It's just going to take up time. And as you saw, space in my inventory is one thing I don't need to worry about. If I wasn't doing a walkthrough for people to watch, then I might actually have a go at um, that. But as I'm... Because uh, it's worth sometimes picking them up if you've got the space to go and sell to that merchant. Any extra cash is a good thing. Especially as I use cash a lot to help me through the game. But then again, what's the point of it if you don't? Okay, our uh, first bit of time with ease. I'm actually just going to flash grenade this. I don't even know why I'm wasting the ammo. At the moment, I don't really. I have a weapon that's worthwhile trying to shoot those. If I still had the shotgun, a nice amount of money there. Though. If I still had the shotgun, I probably would have used that on that. But as I've got rid of it. They aren't actually that difficult to take out. A flash grenade will always take one out in one shot. Worth remembering. If you get a lot of those around you, use a flash grenade. It's probably the best reason to have flash grenades in this game. And they do come in handy in a couple of areas. You're always good to have one or two on you. There's actually a guy down there that you can take out from here, but I'm going to wait till I'm at the bottom. is in that tower up there. He's not difficult to take out. For some reason he dies very quickly. Now there's a gem in this hillside somewhere, I'm sure of it. Ah, oh, there it is. go. More ammo. Now each of these um, crates here you can take out with either your pistol or you can knife them. Um, I'm not doing a knife only run, so I'm not too worried about just knifing them all. So I'm just going to shoot them. Up here there is a, uh, another item. Sells for a decent bit of money, I believe. Another herb. If you can see, my uh, items are starting to fill up a lot again, so I'm glad I got rid of that shotgun. I'd much rather have those grenades than the shotgun itself. Uh, right, I need to shoot this down. Which magically floats towards me. And I need to shoot down that one over there. This will open the waterfall. And we're about to have a lot more enemies coming to us. But, again, another point where you can kind of not get hurt too much. I quite simply leg it back over here.
stand here. Oh, made a dire mistake there. So what I'm going to do is climb up here and quite simply knife them as they all come at me. Very easy tactic, this one. I normally manage to get them as they're climbing over. I don't know how I did quite so badly. I think it's when you overthink something. This isn't the fastest way of doing this. Uh, the faster way is actually usually knifing them as they jump over those crates. Because you'll actually just... Oh, they seem to be having a lot of fun there. I've never known them to uh, have such a hard time of actually climbing up here. I'll have to shoot one in the head. We've broken the party up a bit. I've never actually known this to happen where they uh end up getting caught up on each other. That's saying I don't think I've ever come up here and used this technique. I always use the crates. A bit of a weird one. guy down there appears to be uh, having what I can describe as a moment. Hoping he's going to climb back up here now. There he's really having a hard time with it. Hey, okay, that's the first time I've ever actually climbed up there. It's I didn't get hit. I wouldn't call that the most successful, but... We're doing okay on ammo, etc. So, yeah, not too bad. Possibly the most convoluted way to hide any kind of key I've ever seen in my life, but... I guess there's not much to do in European villages than this. I'd like to think they probably have a enough going on with their lives. But it would appear not. No, I don't think that... No, that one doesn't drop anything. The one through the next door does. If you knife that, there is another gem inside, which we'll take. Now, if I'd have saved the TMP ammo from earlier, it's actually not a bad idea to buy a TMP just here. Um, and use that to kill the next creature I'm about to come across. I'm actually going to use the grenades that I've got and the flash grenades to do this. And some of my ammo that I have. But the TMP, it doesn't do much damage, but it does a lot of damage if you spray with it. And it takes about 30 damage to the guy's face to make him keel over, I believe. So, this could end up going quite badly. Oh, 
The problem that happened there, rather annoyingly, was you have to start the sequence up really quickly. I'm going to combine that, I think. No, no, I'm not. For knifing him, and I didn't. That's actually a real big waste there that I just did, unfortunately. Quite angry at myself for that. Oops. That could have gone smoother as well. I'd not done so poorly with the uh, previous grenade. damage there. I don't really want to use this grenade. Unless I have to. Okay, now I'm hoping to get a few more shots in on his face. Oops, run. Oh, dear me. That little kick's really starting to bother me. do it for me if I'm lucky. I think it's three times. I'm not sure I'm on pro it's four. It's three. Great, he's dead. I used more healing items than I kind of wanted to, but all in all I didn't come out of this all that badly. Quite happy. Pistol ammo suffered a bit. Nothing drastic. Let's 
It's just a shame there are no yellow herbs about at the moment. I can I off the top of my head, I can't remember where I get the next one from. I don't mind losing health if I've got a yellow herb to heal up with because it kind of balances out in my opinion. Right, um, I think I may have picked everything up. Oh, go away. Clipping into the dead body. I think I've grabbed everything from here. Hmm, hmm, better safe than sorry. You know what? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to heal up just in case. Um, I'm not going to try and go and sell anything extra. I'm just going to move on to the next bit. Oh, there are no people here until you get around the corner and then there are some wolves. So, I'm going to... Hopefully grab an item or two out of here. Nope, nothing's respawned. Great. Wolves, I don't know if this will work. It usually does. But there is a really, really dodgy technique here where if you look up, the wolves can't actually hit you. Strange, I know. <laughs> Um, again, a bit dodgy, but I'm going to use every little uh, bit of help I can get. I don't know why. I mean, they can eventually, I think, jump at you. But when you first run in, they just miss for some reason or run around you. Um, I thought there was an item down there. There's not. Can't go that way. And can't go that way. I swing across the middle Indiana Jones style. I don't no, you can't take anything from that. Some more crates here. nothing I can do here. Right, there's a little magic, not magic, a little uh, puzzle here, something magical about it at all. Um, if I'm correct, I want to do red three times, three, four. I think it's three. Now uh, that one, and then I want to do oh, green. That and blue. The same. I think that's right. Again, it's been a while. I can now go through that door that's opened up and end the level. Well, almost end the level. There's a little bit afterwards. We're about to find the annoying president's daughter. And there she is. Thankfully, there are a ton of items for me to grab. And uh, there we have it. Okay. Let's uh, head this way. And we are about to end the level any second now, I believe. Yeah. And here we have it. 
girl. Who are you? If you must know. Now, oh, while the big bad here is introducing himself, I'm not actually going to skip this cutscene because I did say I was going to give away an Armor 3 light key. So, I've decided on a question, which if you drop me a private message, I'll randomly pick somebody from using a generator of some description, whoever answers the question correctly. And the question to win yourself a copy or a key for Armour 3 Lite, which I'll send to you, you must have Steam, is how many chickens do I accidentally kill in the first instalment of my Resident Evil run through? So, uh, episode 1.1, how many chickens do I actually kill in that chapter by mistake? So, if you get your answers through to me, I'll pick a winner sometime next week. I'll make, I haven't made that decision. And I'll let you all know who wins it. So, once again, question is, how many chickens do I kill in Chapter 1.1 of my Resident Evil 4 Pro run-through? Uh, only one entry per person, so don't try and give multiple answers. And you can only win one. Uh, you must have a Steam account. And if it's found out that you're trying to sell your Steam keys, well, that's not really very fair. So you'll be ineligible for any competitions after that may come. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's skip this cutscene because I think it's dragged on long enough. And uh, I'll see you in the next chapter.